Alright guys, this is video number four in my internal martial arts series for grapplers and I'm going to show something from actually my favorite martial art, uh, it's called Bagua Zhang. This technique is called Wild Goose Leaves the Flock and people make a big mistake in applying Chinese martial arts when they use movements that are too complicated and too large and don't understand that the simplest and smallest things are key in martial arts. So this move as a solo movement looks something like this, right? Just looks like this. But when I use it when I'm grappling, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna use it to create an incredibly powerful snap down. In fact, I have to be careful with this because multiple times I've done this to people, I've given them whiplash or concussions. So this is a really powerful technique and the key of it is in the way that you move your leg. So I have to turn my weight and drop my weight on top of my arm. So I'm gonna be here, I'm wrestling with him and he's gonna just go and reach for me with his arm. When he goes to reach for me, I feed under just like what we were doing with the arm drag and I'm gonna come down on top. But the way I do that is I'm going to coil. So I'm gonna take my center, right? Underneath him, coil up on top and I'm gonna get that snap. Once I've gotten that snap, I can move in with whatever I want. If you do this properly, you can actually knock the person out of them. Just knock them right out with the technique itself. You'll snap them hard enough. They hit their brain on the front of their skull. They go out. If you do it a little bit less seriously, you know, you can get a big snap like I did to Cade and then just come in on takedown, which is what I think is ethical to do within the, the framework of competition.